Sandwiches are somewhat of a staple in the Western world. Particularly during lunches. From triangles, to rectangles, to even circles. From white bread, to brown bread, to even yellow bread. We can't get enough of them. The first sandwich was assembled by this chap in 1762, John Montagu. As the story goes, John was playing cards and didn't want to leave the table to eat. So of course he did what any rational human being would do, which was ask him for a serving of roast beef to be placed between two slices of bread so he could eat it with his hands. Since then, we've seen thousands of different variations from the classic chocolate spread you'd get in your school pack lunches to the poorly assembled last night's leftover sandwiches for work. Or if you've got some money to spare, you might opt for the more time efficient option, the meal deal. But neither of these options provide an adequate sandwich, let alone the perfect sandwich. Following years of disappointment Too dry. and dissatisfaction, too cheesy. I've decided to create the perfect sandwich for me. But first, the criteria. I've carefully put in place the following standards to make sure every inch of the sandwich is perfect. Starting with flavor, which will explore a variety of different fillings. The right balance of fillings, experimenting with strong, light, sweet, and savory flavors. Healthy texture, given the illusion that this sandwich is a healthy one, even if it isn't. Nutritional balance, to include all the nutritional benefits that you'd get from any ordinary sandwich. And most importantly, hitting the maximum on the satisfometer. This measures how satisfied one is after eating the sandwich. So a pretty tough task, but I've got the perfect blueprint to get me going. Two slices of bread, a spread, filling number one, some protein, salad, filling number two, protein number two, and spread number two. Let's start with the bread. The most important ingredient. It's vital we get this step right. Otherwise, this sandwich could fall apart. I've picked an affordable medium thickness white bread. Why? Because too thin and the bread is at risk of breaking. Too thick and the flavours are at risk of being diluted by the bread. The first spread. There are literally hundreds of options. I've picked the most common and to be honest the most effective. Margarine. I could pick butter but it's too hard and it will damage the spongy texture of the bread, leaving fatal holes. Margarine on the other hand is a soft and damage free substitute. Tastes great and adds an additional layer of protection for all the other fillings. Filling number one. Brace yourselves. Hummus. More specifically, caramelized onion hummus. This is a game changer. Not only is it a great natural protein, but it also has a really nice creamy texture that makes the bite that much more satisfying. A layer of this goes over bread number one. Now for the protein. I've only ever had these turkey slices. So I'm not really sure what it would taste like with another type of protein. But this works well because it's not an overly strong flavour and I can trust it will sit without causing too much fuss. However, if I opted for a more popular protein, say chicken, I'd have to hold my sandwich dead straight. Otherwise... Now, we've added quite a few different ingredients that offer a variety of different flavours that are well balanced and that also offer nutritional health benefits. But we're yet to address this. 
healthy texture. Remember, this sandwich doesn't need to be the healthiest. It only needs to make you feel healthy. And there's nothing healthier than lettuce. So I'll be tearing two layers of lettuce and applying them carefully over bread number one. Then, snipping off the bits that fall off the edge of the bread and sprinkling them back over the top to maintain the structural integrity of the bread's exterior wall. And there we have it. Bread number one is complete. Bread number two follows the same structural order but contains different ingredients. First, the spread we'll be using is a dressing. A thin layer of healthy fat reduced honey mustard dressing. Healthy texture, ish, and a nice sweet tangy flavor that will complement the other sandwich fillings. Filling number two, really brace yourselves this time, sweet potato mix. More specifically, homemade sweet potato mix. Notice the pattern yet? In bread number one, the ingredients used were more savory and strong. Whereas in bread number two, the ingredients being used are sweeter and lighter. This particular mix is made with chilies and onions, which will add a crunchy texture and a kick to the sandwich. We've got plenty of protein in this sandwich, but for the sake of keeping a symmetrical balance, I'm going to add another layer of protein. This time, sliced chicken breast. Because why not? Finally, and most importantly, a slice of mild cheese. This is used to glue bread number one and two together. And here we have it. Wow, <laughs> it's actually so good. <laughs> the perfect sandwich.